Great, I got some catching up to do. Um, two keys keyboard. There is only one character A on a screen on a note well on the screen of a notepad. You can perform one of two operations on this notepad for each step. You can co well, copy all. You can copy all the characters present on the screen. A partial copy is not allowed. Or paste. You can paste the characters which are copied the last time. Given an integer n, return the minimum number of operations to get the character A exactly n times on the screen. Okay. Okay, interesting. So this, this feels like a math problem. Um, it's like how many times can you... Because copying all of them, so you can copy all or you can paste. So... You can double it. Or you can add the last, or you can add half. Okay, um, does that make sense? Because, so like if I have A, 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 okay, so I can do two things here. I can double it, well, okay. So if I have A, I can copy it, and I can paste it. Now if I paste, then I'm adding half. Or if I copy and then paste, then I'm, add, then I'm doubling it. Okay, so it's like a little math problem. Given an integer n, return the minimum number of operations to get the character a exactly n times on the screen. Okay, so... So you can either double it or add the previous value okay well let's do a few sample ones to see so if n equals 9 then you'd take a and you go you pay you copy and paste and go a a then you'd copy and paste that and go a a a copy and paste that oh but now you've got a conundrum Okay, because wait, once you get to eight, you can't possibly reach nine because you can't. You could only either paste four or you could copy and paste eight. So I think this is a deal of calculating the largest factor and then reaching that point. Because for 9, the correct solution would be to go A, 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 and then copy that and paste it twice. Okay? And for 8, it would be to reach 4 by going A, 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 and then copying and pasting that to reach 8. Okay? Let's see, I think I've got it, but yeah, okay, 15 should be 5. I'm just thinking of a random number. If you have, let's see. So if the number is even, you try to figure out the point where you can get the current screen to be half of that and then copy and paste it and if the numbers odd that's a little bit trickier you've got to find if the numbers odd you've got to find the largest the greatest common factor or no just yeah the the, the greatest factor of it that's not the number itself okay
This is a good one, but it's also kind of hard. All right. So, let's see. Let's work our way up. Because the solution to one... Or no, the solution to four is going to be involved in the solution to eight. So, let's see. So, one... You, need, you have zero steps. You have zero steps to reach one. N steps. Okay. You have zero steps to reach one. Um, one takes zero steps. Two takes two steps. Because you have to copy and paste the one. Three takes three steps because you copy, paste, paste. Okay, four takes four steps because you copy, paste, copy, paste, or copy, paste, paste, paste. Okay, so I'm just trying to see if we can get a little pattern going here because I feel like the numbers, there's a pattern because like, what is eight, but just four plus a copy, paste. Okay, so five would be copy paste what well, copy paste copy what well, copy this five five is interesting let's see five would be copy paste and then you just have to paste four times because you can't Okay, so worst case scenario, the steps is N. Because you can always just copy, paste, 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 paste. Okay, so it's just a matter of do we get like a, an economies of scale going. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Okay. Six is copy, paste. And then copy, paste, paste. So that's copy, paste, copy, paste, paste. So because you copy, you, you, you copy the first one to get two. And then you copy those two and then you paste it two times more. You could also do copy, paste, paste, copy, paste. But still, that's five. So that's the first one that we can skip a that we can get less than n. Okay. Seven is you have to do copy, paste, 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 paste. So I'm starting to realize that if it's a prime number, you have to do n. because there's nothing that multiplies to that number. You just had to do paste n times, or we'll copy for the first step and then paste for the second character and so on. Eight is copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So eight is six. Nine is three plus copy, paste, paste. So it's six. Nine is also six. Okay, so maybe, let's see. Ten is five plus two. Right? Because you do copy, paste, 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 paste to get the five. And then you do copy, paste to make it 10. I don't think there's a faster way of doing that. 
So it's 7. 11 has to be 11 because it's prime. 12. Um, it's either 4. You could do 6. It would be 5. Copy, paste. is 7. You could do 4. Copy, paste, paste is also 7. 3. Copy, paste for 6, paste for 9, paste for... So, yeah, 12, any way you slice it, is 7. This is interesting. Okay. What's 13? 13 is 13. 14 is 7 times 2, or 7 plus 2, so it's 9. 15 is 5, copy, paste, paste. This is, okay, I'm really just struggling to see a pattern here. I don't think there's a pattern. I think that we got to figure out some, I feel like by 15, I should start to be figuring it out. Let's see, 16, 8 is 6, so you could just do copy paste for, for 8 after you get to 6. Or you could do 4, copy, paste, 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 is also 8. Okay. Okay, seventeen is seventeen. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna pause this and think about it some more. <laughs> um, just went to the gym to uh, try to see if my if I could jog my brain a little bit, and I think I did. So the math here is that is it's a little bit recursive. It's a little bit because once you get to if you're if you're going for 500. Once you get to 250, you can just double it by saying copy and paste. Although, if you get to 500, would you want to just go to 100 and then copy it four times? I think it's all the same. Um, one sec, let me just uh, change my appearance. Okay, so... Is... It better to copy and paste 10 four times or copy and paste 25 once let's see so you do a because I think it's all the same this will make a difference as to my final strategy okay so a well, you know that we have to do five to get that okay and then so that's five to get to, to three A's because we copy and paste the A and then we uh, paste, we copy the A and then we paste it four times. That's five. Okay, copy and paste, so that's seven. Okay, and then to get to 50, we copy and paste that four times, which would be 12 total steps. Well, we're, what if we were trying to do 25? So five, okay, and then copy and paste four times so that's five more steps is 10 and then copy and paste is 12 okay so whether you try doing 10 well why whether you try you know I think that uh, the more I the more examples I do the more I think that this is the solution is to is that you'll never find a faster like you know as long as you go for like the greatest possible divider then you're in good shape like that that's gonna be the fastest you can go so I think what's gonna help us here is a helper function and that helper function is gonna find the greatest factor 
we'll say X. Okay. This function is going to find is going to find the greatest divisor. That's not the number itself. If it's the number itself, then we know that it's prime. But here's how we're going to do that. We're going to say 4. Um, I'm going to say 4i in range 2 to x plus 1. Um, well... Let's see, what would we want the range to be? Um, we'd want the range to be X, uh, you know, doing, doing, is it redundant once we get to X? Because once we get to X, we know that it's prime. If we get one less than X, you know, that's not going to do it. Let's just, uh, let's just say X. Let's, you know. Okay. I'm forgetting how the uh, I'm mixing up all my languages. I'm so out of shape right now. I'm gonna say divisor equals x divided by i. If no, 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 that's not right. We're gonna say if x modulo i equals zero, then return x divided by i. So, e.g. 500, check 500 divided by 2, or modulo 2, equals 0, return 250. Okay? So, basically, what this is going to help us do is... say return one otherwise what this is going to help us do is find the biggest possible number that we can divide uh, the the number by I'm sorry I know I'm not making sense I'm a little bit out of it today it's been a minute since I've done one of these um, yeah. Okay, so. We've got the A. Um, so, that's going to help us. I think. It's a little helper function. So now, what do we do? Now we basically take the greatest possible factor do we want this to return two numbers Greatest factors. Okay. All right. So now 
we're going to work our way backwards through the number, dividing it by its great, greatest possible divisor. But we don't really need the greatest possible divisor. I think we just need the the two. Actually, yeah, we don't need to, yeah. Awesome, so we check to see if you can divide by two. Okay, and a prime number, it's one. Okay, awesome. I think I'm starting to get it. Um, I feel a little bit out of shape today. Shows why you gotta do constant practice with this. We're gonna say, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the number and we're gonna keep on dividing it by the lowest possible integer that's not one that results in it still being an integer. Okay, once we do that, we keep doing that until we get to a prime number. And once we reach a prime number, then we know that it takes n steps to copy and paste up to n if n is prime. For example, it takes 17 steps to get to 17 A's because you can't, there's no chunk that you can multiply to get to 17 because it's prime. That's the whole thing. So we're going to take N. We're gonna say, okay, we're gonna have a, a counter called total steps. That's set to zero. And we're gonna tick it up as we go on. Okay. We're gonna get the first greatest factor, or I guess lowest factor, or whatever. We're gonna say, um, LF equals lowest factor of N. Okay, now we're gonna say while LF does not equal one, We're going to say n equals Okay, let's see. If it takes if you had to double the number of steps it takes to get 4 a's to equal 8 a's is 2 cuz you have to copy and paste it the number to get it to 3 if you need to triple it is three because you need to copy paste paste so total steps is increased by LF okay then we divide n by LF okay and we keep doing that and then we finally update LF this would be really cool if this worked because my brain's really struggling. I'm struggling. Um, lowest factor, n. Okay, and finally we say total steps plus equals n. 
or we could just say return total steps plus n or LF <sighs> let's see if that works oh that's gonna go best Put in a edge case. Let's see if that works. Float object cannot be returned as integer. Interpret it as integer. Huh? Do we do floor divide? Wow. <laughs> How about that? You know, I feel like I felt so dumb during that entire thing and it ends up being a great solution. And it takes a lot of thinking sometimes. <sighs> that one was exhausting. I'm also just exhausted. <sighs> Let's go over it one more time. There is only one character A on the screen of a notepad. You can perform one of two operations on this notepad for each step. You can copy all or you can paste. So you try to get... My strategy is that it makes sense to try to get the biggest possible... streak of A's that can multiply up to N. So if you have 16, you want to get 8 and then just copy paste. If you have if you have 8, you want to get 4 and then copy paste. If you have 4, you want to get 2 and then copy paste. So how do we do that? We find the the smallest possible number that's not one that we can divide n by because you know best case scenario you can just divide it in half because then you only have to copy and paste once and then it's sort of recursive well not recursive it's 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 uh, it's just working backwards so you have the total number of steps and you're basically saying okay get the lowest possible factor so if you had to I mean, really, do I want to take out the even numbers? I don't know. It works pretty well. But yeah, so you start and you say, can you divide it by two? If you can divide by two, then you're in good shape because you just copy and paste the whole thing. 
If you can divide by three, then you do copy, paste, paste. If it's five, then it's copy, paste, paste, paste. <sighs> so you get the lowest possible factor. And then if it's not one, if it's prime, then you had to, you know, just manually copy, paste individual A's to get to that point. But on the bright side, if it's prime, then that means we don't need to do any more because that's the ending point. Yeah, we can't find any more factors. I feel like I'm using all the wrong words here. Um, so while it's, yeah, the total steps, you add the lowest fa factor to. If you're just doubling it, then you add two because you copy and paste to double it. And if you're tripling it, then you add three because you copy, paste, paste. Then you divide the thing by the lowest factor. So if you have 500 and you divide it by two, um, you know, because it takes two steps. Or, yeah, yeah, take, um, because, yeah, you've already done the math. That, or, or you've counted up the steps it will take to copy and paste to multiply 250 to um, 500. And now you have to figure out how you're going to get to 250. And you do that by first calculating the lowest factor. And then the loop starts over. All right, so hope that made sense. I'm surprised that I got that one considering how my brain feels right now, but that's a win. Thanks for watching.